One of the things that I will um, do in my practice is what is called enteral stenting, and that is placing a stent or a, um, uh, an expanding tube in the esophagus, for example, or sometimes in the stomach, or even the colon, or the, also called the large intestine, to um, relieve an obstruction. So, for example, if there is a tumor that needed to be bypassed um, for palliative care, uh, that is something we can do if someone has a benign stricture or narrowing in their esophagus, for example, from complicated acid reflux disease, we can actually place a stent that can dilate the esophagus, uh, and then it can be removed at a later date. Stents can be either temporary or permanent. Uh, some stents we want to remain in indefinitely, others we definitely want to remove, and they make both types. But placing a stent is an outpatient procedure. This is something where we um, do standard conscious sedation, much in the same way we would do for a screening colonoscopy. Uh, but we typically would do this at the hospital uh, because we need special x-ray equipment. The stent is placed during the course of the endoscopy, which lasts no more than 10, maybe a little bit more minutes. Uh, and once the patient wakes up, they're able to eat and, and go home and go about their usual business. Sometimes people can feel the stent. It depends on where it's located. Sometimes people will have a sensation that maybe there's a foreign body, for example, if it were in the upper esophagus. In other parts of the body, for instance, in the stomach or even the colon, they would have no sensation of this at all. Placing a stent for um, cancer reasons is uh, an effective way of letting somebody um, have a better quality of life when there's otherwise a lot of suffering. Uh, this is one good way, fairly easy way, to relieve a lot of suffering and improve people's quality of life at a very difficult time.